everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super exciting video that I've wanted to do for so long and I'm going to be testing Primark makeup. Um, so I went into Primark earlier today, spent about £36 in there on makeup which um, kind of didn't want to spend that much. I didn't think it would come to that much but I did get enough to do a full face um, and I did properly go around and have a look at everything and kind of picked out colours that I liked or things that looked very pigmented that I just wanted to try. Um, so I've got a full face worth of makeup here. Uh, it is currently about quarter past five in the evening so I'm going to try and leave this on for as long as possible um, before I go to bed and just can't be bothered to wear makeup anymore and I'm going to take it off. Um, and for that I actually bought these. These are the makeup cleansing cloths and they're three reusable cloths and apparently they just remove your makeup with water. Um, so I'm very excited to try these. Um, because if they work I feel like they're going to become my like new favourite thing. Okay, so to begin with I'm going to use the um, PS Prep and Perfect Glow Illuminating Skin Primer. This was £3. I did consider getting the matte primer but I've got so many matte primers and I'm actually really enjoying the Max Factor Illuminating Primer at the moment. I find it really holds my makeup, it gives me a nice glow. Um, because I don't really want to be matte at the moment. Uh, I'm just really enjoying like looking quite glowy um, So I got this one. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like White okay, so it doesn't really smell of anything. It's kind of got like a nice natural scent nothing too overpowering So that's the primer. I actually really like it. Um, I can't say much about it at the moment. It's not tacky at all um, I feel like it has given my face a little bit of texture though just to hold that makeup um and I feel like I do look slightly more awake and less like a zombie, which is always good. Moving on to the next thing now, we have got the PS My Perfect Colour Matte Foundation. This is a natural medium coverage matte finish and it's oil free, which is great. Uh, this cost me £3. Uh, I did get this in the colour beige. Uh, I did do a test a while ago on my hand and I think it kind of matched me the same. It was kind of like the lightest colour that I could see and already this looks darker than what I wear at the moment so I feel like we're going to be in a little bit of trouble with this one. I just got my eyeshadow palette with my mirror. Oh no. Okay this is bad. This is way too orange for me. On camera it looks like it's given me a nice flawless finish which I have to give it. It has but the colour match is so off. I don't know whether you guys can tell how I'm um, like mismatched my face now looks. So next thing I've got is a concealer stick. Um, this is medium buildable coverage and this is in the colour porcelain. So I've gone from using a beige foundation to a porcelain concealer. Um, I'm not a fan of using concealer sticks and honestly I haven't used one since like I first started out with makeup. I'm going to do like my full face how I normally would, see how these products actually compare. The more that I look at myself with this foundation on, I don't hate it as much as I did. Um, it's definitely matte, which again, in winter, I think I'll really like this foundation. I really like that. I do feel like I look really orange compared to like my neck. The like, thing I got, I got the uh, PS My Perfect Colour Loose Mineral Powder. This is buildable coverage, matte finish and oil free. Again, I got this in porcelain because they didn't have translucent. So I feel like hopefully after using all these porcelain products on my face, it will kind of bring down the beigeness in my face. Um, but this was £2. Got some in here and I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm definitely 100% going to need a mirror for this. Don't know what I feel about this apart from it's all in my nose. Okay, so that's it with the foundation, concealer and powder on. I actually don't look too bad, I don't think. Um, I've still got the, it's not obvious in the mirror, but I don't know if you guys can see, I've got like a foundation line. Next I'm going to go in with the PS Bronze Glow and this was £2 and this is in the shade Fearless. Oh no, this is too dark for me. This is way too dark. So now I've got bronzer on, um... I, I do like it, but I just, it's not me. Too dark. It's too dark. 
So next I'm going to go in with blush. This is the PS Blush High Pigment Blusher and this is £1.50 in the colour drama. This is pigmented. I actually love this. For £1.50, get yourselves to Primark. That's all I'm going to say because I'm definitely going to get more blushes from them. Next I'm going to go in with highlight and I actually got the Brunch Club PS Highlighter. I've seen so many testing videos with people using this highlighter and it always looks so nice. They had like four different ones in there. Um, I picked the one I'd probably use the most which is called Brunch Club which is kind of a champagne colour. So again I'm going to go in with my highlight brush which is also from Aliexpress and I'm just going to start highlighting. That is so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's do the other side. It's so now we're going to do eyeshadow and I'm going to go like all out here. I'm going to see what I can do with this eyeshadow palette. So I actually got the Rose Quartz um, eyeshadow palette. This was £8, um, which I think is a bit pricey for Primark makeup, but I know their prices have gone up recently. Um, probably due to the fact that their quality has also gone up. Um, I do have another Primark foundation and I hate it. <laughs> it's so bad, so bad. Um, but yeah, this is going well. Um, so this is what the inside looks like. You've got your name sheet and then you've got all the shades in here. Um, I know Primark at one point was doing dupes for um, the Huda Beauty palettes. I don't know whether this is a dupe, um, but it does look very similar to my Violet Voss palette which I've got, I'm using the mirror for. Um, quite similar shades, um, so if you don't want to spend £45 on this, very similar. I think to start this look off I'm going to go in with the shade Sand Pink which is just this one up here. Uh, it doesn't have a mirror which is extremely annoying. A lot of fallout on the palette. Uh, let's have a look on the eye. You can't really see that eyeshadow colour, hasn't really done much but I wasn't expecting it to. Um, usually then what I'd do is I'd go in with my make with my Real Techniques, um, this is the, I don't know because the name has rubbed off a bit, uh, it's just a Real Techniques brush which I really like. I think I'm going to go in with Floral Bunch which is this uh, purpley pink shade just here. So pigmentation wise it isn't as pigmented as my Violet Voss palettes, um, I would kind of give it the same pigmentation as your regular drugstore. Um, so as you guys know I have a lot of Makeup Revolution uh, makeup and I would compare it to that. Um, price range exactly the same as Makeup Revolution um, and pigmentation exactly the same. I'm not trying excessively hard to get loads of pigment I'm not so this whole eye was done with like one dip of my brush there's the pink down on my eye I really like that it's quite subtle um, it's not in your face which I like shockingly um, because I love bright eyeshadows um, but I don't mind that at all yeah, I'm gonna go in with this gold instead it's not performing at all which is very disappointing. I just poked myself in the eye with my eyeshadow brush, not even like gently, like I literally wiped my eye with eyeshadow. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Outcome? No. Just... Uh, it, uh, if you don't like bold eyeshadow, maybe get this palette if you don't want bright bold colours because you can see the pink, you can see the gold, you can see there's two different colours there. So there's two light shimmer ones in here, you've got this one here and you've got, oh no, this one here. This one is more white, um, so I'm going to try and put this on my finger and I'm going to put that, so it's just there, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner, see what that does. So that was the eyeshadow palette, so I couldn't do more with this, there's not really that, to me, uh, there's not that much of a range of colours that I could really use, because there's a lot of pinks, so if you're not into like your pink eyeshadows, I wouldn't advise for this. Um, again, same reason why I have a love-hate relationship with this, I do like my pink eyeshadows, but some days I just struggle. Um, 
doesn't compare to Violet Voss whatsoever. Um, if I was using Violet Voss right now, you would be able to tell that this would be like so bold. Um, but it isn't a bad little palette for eight pounds. Um, drugstore quality as well. So next thing for my eyes I got is I got a mascara. I did look at the mascara and they, none of them looked that appealing to me. Um, but I found this one called HD Fanatic and this says Ultra Defined Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. There wasn't a tester so I couldn't see what the brush looked like so oh oh okay. So this is a just your regular black comb however I don't know if you guys can hear this. It sounds spiky and it even looks, it doesn't look soft at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes because every mascara has got to have a fighting chance. I don't know whether you guys can see that, but they actually, it's actually made my eyelashes like defined um even though it sounds like a plastic brush and it is a li like it sounds spiky um i can't feel like anything uh it doesn't feel any different to any other mascara brush i really underestimated this mascara i actually really like this mascara the next thing i got was i looked all around at the lip products and I find, and then I came across the PS Lip Contour Bare Edit Lip Kit. We've got a matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner. So yeah, I've got two matte lipsticks and one lip liner. This was three pounds. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the lip liner. It's not as nude as I would have liked it, especially it being the Bare Edit. I was expecting something a little more subtle. I kind of want to try this, but I don't have a um, lip liner for it. I think I might just do it. This smells like the liquid lipstick. It smells and tastes like the NYX liquid lipsticks. And if you watch like a couple of maybe previous videos, I said in one of them that the NYX liquid lipsticks smell like desserts. I really want to go to creams now. I really like it. it I haven't got a colour like this. It is all over my teeth. Um, but I really like it. Finally, I bought some setting spray and I also got the Glow setting spray. So I guess they've got a range going on called Glow. Um, I already use a Glow finishing spray. I'm currently using the L'Oreal one, which I really, really like. Um, despite what I said in my chatty full face of new makeup video, because I said I wasn't a fan and I prefer my makeup obsession. After actually testing it for a couple of days and going to work using it and wearing it, um, I have noticed it actually keeps my makeup and it actually gives me a nice glow. Um, so I really like that. So I thought I might as well try this glow setting spray. Um, I think I'm more of like a matte primer person, but then a glowy um, setting spray person. Uh, so I'm going to shake this and I'm going to, there we go, okay. I feel like I used a bit too much, I'm like, I'm just drenched now and I don't look good. I feel like the setting spray has gone all into like my pores and just made them really obvious, like all the um, bumps on my face. Overall, what I think of this makeup is I think I would have much rather have spent 36, nearly 40 pounds um, in Superdrug or in Boots, um, just because I feel like Primark's very hit and miss, um, and I think I'd much rather wear Makeup Revolution or MUA or CYO or any of those um, cheaper drugstore brands because I know that they work. Like, I love Makeup Revolution and CYO um, and MEA was actually the first makeup company or brand that I actually started wearing um, and Primark, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like the shades are a bit off. Maybe for like face products such as blush and highlight I'll go in there and get things and maybe even mascaras because for 250 um, I've spent nearly £10 on mascaras that have not done half a good job. So that is my uh, Primark testing video. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to test any more uh, like cheaper um, 
makeup brands or even just other makeup brands in general comment down below because i'm always looking at trying new products be sure to subscribe because i upload two weekly um because i upload every two weekly uh, and i'll see you in my next video bye hello everyone so like i said um I, when i take my makeup off i'm going to use these cleansing cloths so we're doing a little bit of like a vlog style thing here um i have only had my makeup off for about two or three hours but i just want to get into bed now and just chill um i just i just want to take this off like i am so sweaty because it's warm i realized in the video i didn't do my eyebrows and i actually did buy an eyebrow product so i'm sorry about that um but let's go see how these look thank you This is going to be amazing if this works. Okay. I don't know whether this is just like a flannel or whether it's actually taking off the makeup. I feel like it is. These work. I'm so shocked that they work. That's amazing. Um, I definitely wouldn't skip out on doing your skincare routine, like if you use um facial washes. Sorry, I'm being quiet because like I don't want people hear me talking to myself. Oh, my lips do. I've still got that on. I wouldn't skip your everyday skincare um, if you use like facial washes and stuff because like it is soft, it is quite rough on your face as well. Um, like I would say personally use these as an alternative for facial wipes um, because you're not creating more landfill and more stuff that can pollute the oceans. Um, and there's also so much money saved um, using these as well. Like honestly when I go away on holiday in the future i'm gonna pack one of these because it's so hard to pack your like skincare and if you use facial wipes you like you know you might run out or you, you um you might not be able to take enough all that kind of stuff um yeah this is amazing they did do small ones as well but i love this um my makeup is all off and i feel so much better so i'm gonna get into bed now bye